Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Logic Pro X to sequence and record external synthesizers, samplers and drum machines. To do this you're going to need to be able to get MIDI out from your computer to your device, which you could do either by using an interface that has a MIDI output and connecting it to the MIDI input of your device, or quite commonly now many devices actually have USB so you can just plug the USB into your computer and it'll send MIDI that way. You'll also need to be able to send audio from your device back into your computer. So you're also going to need some sort of audio interface that you can use to do that. So first of all, you're going to need to send MIDI from your computer out to your device. So there are two ways you can do this in Logic Pro. I'm going to show you them both, but I prefer one of them, and I'll tell you why. So if I open up a new channel strip here, there's a selection here that you can choose which is external MIDI. Using this, you can go to the MIDI destination. Here I've got it sending to my deep mind, which is the synth I'm going to be using for this. So if I set this up, it will be sending any MIDI data I program into the piano roll or anything I play on a keyboard or whatever will be sent out to my device. If you're not sending it directly to your device, you will have to select whatever your audio interface is. In my case, it's the Tascam here. I hardly ever actually use the external MIDI channel. And instead, what I do is I'll set up just an ordinary software instrument channel. So I go down to the utility folder here and I choose external instrument. So the reason I use the plugin rather than the dedicated channel is because every time you load up your project, if you don't have that device connected, it'll give you a little prompt saying this device isn't connected and it does it every time the amount of MIDI ins and outs change. So if you turn on a bit of gear, turn off a bit of gear, plug in a keyboard, unplug it, it's going to come up with that message every time. And that can get quite annoying, especially when I'm working on a mix later on. I'm not going to have my gear plugged in. I'm going to have everything pre-recorded already and it's just annoying to get that message. So the main reason why I use this method rather than the other is just so I don't get those annoying pop-ups all the time. Right, so I'm going to open up this plugin and I'm going to choose my MIDI destination, which is going to be my deep mind. Now you can get the audio back in through this as well by choosing an input here. Personally, I don't like to do this because when you record on this channel here, it records MIDI. It doesn't record the audio. So if you actually want to record your device, you're going to need to open up a new channel strip, uh, select audio, and then select the input you're using. So I'm currently using input two. So now I'm just gonna quickly create a MIDI region here, make a little loop. I'm just gonna program some random notes into it. But when I play that back, I'm not actually hearing anything. However, if I press record, I am getting audio in there. The reason I'm not hearing anything is because input monitoring isn't enabled. So to do that, all you're going to have to do is click this little eye here and that should turn orange and then you're going to be able to hear the audio in without having to record. If that eye isn't showing up, first thing to check is just move the channel strip and see if it pops up because sometimes it won't be there because there's not enough space. If it's still not there, Alt click, go down to track header components, make sure that there is a tick next to input monitoring. That'll make sure that that icon is actually there and that you can actually select it. So if input monitoring isn't working, one possible reason that could be is that you don't have software monitoring enabled. So to enable software monitoring, you want to go to the gray area up here at the top, Alt click, choose customize control bar and display. And then you want to go to modes and functions and find software monitoring and make sure that that has a tick next to it. So that'll bring up this little symbol here. And you're going to want to make sure that you click that and that it's turned green. So that's how you send MIDI out to a device and record the audio input back in on Logic. I hope this video was useful. If it was, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and give it a like. And I'll catch you in the next one.